Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lordis Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of November the 5th through to the 11th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, we have the Ten of Wands in the upright position, followed then by the Three of Swords upright. And next, we have the King of Swords in reverse followed by the Six of Cups in the upright. And lastly, we have the Six of Swords upright. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Virgo, for your overall energy, you have that of the Ten of Wands in the upright position. Ten of Wands represents when we're carrying too many burdens. For some of you, this could be too many worries. Um, it could be worrying about multitude of things. It could be anything from family to health to work to anything like that. Maybe you just have a lot of worries. Uh, others of you could be carrying too much of a burden, too much of a heavy load. If that's the case, try and uh, ease off. Uh, this is very intense energy, the Ten of Wands in the upright position. This is when we're overworked, doing too many things, maybe for family and friends. could be time to delegate now uh, and help get some people to help take some of these burdens off of you. Now, coming right off the hop, we have the Three of Swords in the upright position. Three of Swords represents kind of like a fresh wound. It speaks of loss, of... Um, of, it can be arguments that are hurtful, somebody's hurting your feelings, um, that kind of thing. Maybe you're hurting someone else's feelings. And it's coming right off the weekend energy, so there could have been something that happened over the weekend. Maybe you had words with somebody, maybe you had a falling out, um, could have lost a friendship, a relationship. It's going to be different for all of you because it's just a general read. But... Um, yeah, that's what you're coming in uh, into the week with. And it's paired up with the King of Swords in the reverse position. This is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy, that of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. Now, the King of Swords in the upright position, this is somebody. This can also represent um, a law officer, police officer, uh, a judge, a lawyer, anyone connected to the law as well. Um, when he's in the upright position, this is someone sworn to uphold the law, and his uh, his word is law in the sense that uh, he speaks the truth, nothing but the truth, and the whole truth. And he, when he's in the upright, that's where he's coming from. When it's in reverse, however, this can sometimes represent um, a breakdown in communication altogether. It could be for some of you, maybe you have stopped talking to someone due to, like I said, argument or hurt feelings. Uh, for others of you, this can represent bad communication coming from a person as well. This is when somebody's not being um, very polite or very logical in their speech. Um, yeah, so, or maybe not telling the truth. So there's something going on. It looks like for some of you, it could be that you've cut off communication with someone because there was some issues there. Maybe this relationship was too much of a burden for you as well. Maybe this person was, it could be a boss. It could be, and even if this is uh, someone representing the law, it could be that perhaps you're dealing with a, a lawyer or a police officer who's, uh, you know, giving you a hard time. Um, yeah, just be careful with this energy. If it is concerning the law, just don't, uh, you know, do anything illegal with your vehicle. Uh, don't park in a no parking zone, that kind of thing. Just try to steer clear of things like that and no speeding. <laughs> Uh, moving towards the weekend, we have the lovely energies though, of the Six of Cups in the upright position. This is all about the blast from the past card. This can represent a soulmate uh, reunion. It can represent reunion with people we haven't seen in a long time. Family members, friends could be getting together with people. And for some of you, this could just be really happy memories from the past. Maybe you're sharing some stories with other people, looking at old photographs and that kind of thing, and just having a really good uh time in memory lane and it's paired up with the six of swords is your last card in the read six of swords in the upright position represents moving on now for some of you this is weekend energy maybe some of you are taking a trip on the weekend you're going some going away for the weekend you could be starting a holiday or going uh 
home for, you know, whatever reason. Uh, this could be representing moving as well. Maybe some of you are moving or you could be moving across the country or to another country across water. It could be representing um, just moving on emotionally. Maybe for, for some of you, it's this situation that happens at the beginning of the week with the Three of Swords. Maybe you're moving on from that. Maybe you're a little bit emotional in the beginning part of the week, but by week's end, you're already moving on from it. So interesting reading here, Virgo. Uh, you'll have to leave a comment in the comment section below if this is resonating for you. Just be careful with those burdens, okay? Don't carry too many. <laughs> I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.